Hi guys, welcome to welcome to another Minecraft Mod tutorial today I'm going to teach you how to disable certain properties from the block state. So this is something that I actually found out from one of you guys, you guys commented this, and I thought it was so good that I needed to share this. So what we're going to do is in the mod blocks, the way it works is we use a state mapper to actually disable our block state. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new public static void and it's going to be called create state mappers. We're going to open it up and we're going to make sure that this is client side only. So this is side only. I press control space to import that and it's just side dot client. Make sure it's client side only and what we're going to do is now register our state map so model loader dot set custom state mapper and then the blocks that we're going to do so we're going to choose the door and so what we're going to do we're going to put this in brackets we're going to do a new state map dot builder dot and we're going to do ignore so we're going to ignore a certain property so as is block door dot powered and if you had more than one property you wanted to ignore just put a comma then to like the other property so like facing but we want facing then on the end after the second um bracket we're going to do dot build and that should build our state mapper so we're going to do the same for our fence gates so and model loader Now there is also another one that we can do and that is for our game mode detector so if you remember here all the models are the same so what we're going to do is do model loader dot set custom state mapper for the um, game mode detector the mapper is what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so it just goes for a normal property and what it is is a new state mapper base and we're just going to get the model resource location and all it is is going to do a new model resource location and choose the second one and resource location is game mode detector dot get registry name and the variant we're going to use is the normal variant and that's just how we say only to look at this one so if you're going to game mode detector what we can actually do is just get rid of all of this change this to normal and we can do the same for the tin door get rid of all the other powered ones so where does powered go false here and just going to do control h just going to do control f and just going to replace with nothing and that will get rid of that exactly how we want it and that's the same here so get rid of all the powered true bit save control f replace all brilliant so we're now going to have to go into our uh, proxy and it's our client proxy and we're going to need to make a new method in the common proxy called pre init so public void pre init and we're just going to go to the client proxy and we're going to do pre init override it delete this up here and all we're going to do is mod blocks dot and create state mappers okay so i've stopped the loading of the game and i've just forgot that in a bit of everything we didn't actually call the pre in it so that's a bit stupid so we need to do proxy dot pre in it here and this will call our pre in it method okay so the game is loaded up so if we head inside of our test world there is no errors in chat fortunately so everything is going to work nothing should have changed really but we've reduced how much files we've used so we can get the tin door out and it was a tin fence gate and also the game mode detector now you'll still note that if we press f3 you do still say see the game mode and well i'll use the tin button to update it 
and yes it has updated it is game mode one but all of these are working without the uh, other all of these are working without the um, larger model files so thank you guys for watching don't like comment and subscribe I am out.